What's going on y'all? I'm Czar. And in this video, I'm going to go over three Waves plugins that I no longer use because of newer Waves plugins. And we'll get right into this. This is a vocal from an artist named Coretta King. And the first one is going to be the Waves VEQ3. So this, of course, is based off the Neve VQ. But ever since I got Waves Shep 73, I've not really used the VEQ3 anymore. Now, there are some slight differences between uh, these two. With the Shep 73, you get control over the input and output fader. Uh, you also have this preamp where you can add some drive and distortion. Uh, on the VEQ3, we do have a couple extra uh, frequencies on here, like we have a 10K in the shelf, and I believe we have more uh, frequencies in this uh, mid frequency than on the Shep's 73. Uh, but let's take a listen to these. Let's start with the VEQ3. You won't find I'm trying to chase the devil For money, fame, or power out of greed And the ship 73. You won't find I'm trying to chase the devil for money, fame, or power out of greed. You won't ever find them where the rest goes. No, you'll find them, you'll find them next to me. All right, the next one is one that shouldn't be a surprise, but the SSL E channel. Ever since the SSL EV2 came out, oh, here we go. Ever since the EV2 came out, I haven't used the E channel. Uh, differences between these on the EV2, and we have this mic in line that allows you to add some, again, some driving saturation to the signal, similar with the uh, Shep 73. And we also have an option between uh, the uh, black knob and brown knob for the low frequency on the EQ section. All right, let's start with the E channel. You won't find I'm trying to chase the devil for money, fame, or power out of greed. You won't ever find them where the rest goes. No, you'll find them, you'll find them. And the EV2. You won't find I'm trying to chase the devil for money, fame, or power out of greed. You won't ever find them where the rest goes. No, you'll find them, you'll find them next to me. As far as sound, the EV2 just sounds like a newer and updated and refreshed version, in my opinion. It just has more depth and more clarity uh, that I get when I'm mixing with it. All right, the last one is Cobalt Sephira. This is a harmonics and saturation plugin, and I haven't been using this one as much. I've been replacing it with BB Tubes. Uh, so BB Tubes is a is Wave's newest plugin. It's a tube saturator, and Beauty and Beast represents the even and odd harmonics. Just like on Cobalt, uh, Cobalt Sephira, we have edge as your even and warmth as your odd harmonics. You have a send and return where you can balance the amount of drive that you're sending into it. Uh, for me, this just wasn't really easy to use. I've used it a little bit, but like I said in my review of BB Tubes, when it comes to saturation, I uh, really wasn't reaching for Waves plugins. But BB Tubes, to me, is a lot easier to use. And we also have more options on here that I can dial in quickly, like this high shelf, as well as two different tube types on the odd harmonics here, and a transform that you can bring in and out. All right, uh, let's take a listen to Cobalt Sephira on this vocal. You won't find I'm trying to chase the devil For money, fame, or power out of greed You won't ever find them where the rest goes No, you'll find them, you'll find them next to me And BB Tubes you won't find I'm trying to chase the devil For money, fame, or power out of greed 
you won't ever find them where the rest goes no you'll find them you'll find them next to me so for me, I greatly prefer B- BB Tubes on this vocal over Cobalt Sephira. The Cobalt Sephira, the color that it's adding is losing some clarity in the low mids to me where BB Tubes is a little brighter and more open. And I just prefer this a lot more than Cobalt Sephira. All right, so uh, there's three Waves plugins that I'm not using anymore because of newer Waves plugins. Uh, comment and let me know what are some Waves plugins you're not using anymore because of newer plugins that Waves have come out with. Be curious to know. And of course, I'll have a link in the description if you want to check these out, pick them up, or learn more about them. All right, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to continue to see content from me, then you know what to do. All right, I'll catch y'all next time.